<laughs> That's the point, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the elbow. 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 All right, and whatever I've done so far just hasn't worked. All right, I've tried Mike Mora, I've tried the Americana, I've tried the Spirit Armbar both ways, okay? I'm gonna just bury him. I started off this as I got over, over his arm, okay? So by doing the first half of all of this, yeah. we're over the arm already. So stepping over the head is easy to do. Okay, whether I'm going for the, the Americana or the Spirit or whatever it might be. Okay, so by doing that first half, now I'm in a nice big back stroke. He might be very good at that point. Pop it off. I can hit my Americana, my arm, but all that fun. Okay. Another option from here. If I tried all those and they haven't worked, or maybe I'm just in a hurry and I don't have time. One of my favorites. Um, but again, it's another one of those feel ones. You gotta, you gotta find it for yourself. It's not, it's not anything I can say. Go here, do this, do that, like it's more in. Okay. I've got his hand around my neck. I'm gonna lock that shoulder, post on the head, and Liam is up on his wrist here. So. Um, my wrist is attacking right, again, those knobs that we were grabbing earlier, I'm putting my elbow, or my wrist bone right there, and laying on it. I'm going to step over his head, figure four my legs, lock my hands together, pull them up, um, outside arm, pull them up, here, alright, and I'm pinching his wrist between my shoulder and my head, so he can't turn his thumb, alright, now I'm taking this top arm, all right, and just like we do with that rear naked choke where we cut paper cutter their head off, I'm pulling my elbow backwards. Ah. Ah. Okay? Yeah. Click. It's good. All right. If I have my wrist in that right spot right above that funny bone, it's going to hit that straight arm bar. And like I said, it, it just digs right into that tendon and pops. Okay? Yeah. All right. Tend to pop these arms. I feel bad. That's all all right. right. That's just amazing. The nice thing is I can do this anytime his arm is on the side of my head. So. I might get to my side control here, and he just hugs me. I can start doing it right now. All right, I can hit it right here. I don't have to mess around with all that other stuff. Okay, but if he knows what's coming, he knows that it's coming. He's going to be protecting that arm when it starts to extend it. He's going to get in front of my face. He's not going to leave it out there. That's why we never want to hug. All right, because it leaves our arms up. Right, just like you're wrestling, your arms are never out. All right, we're kickboxing, our arms are never out. All right, inside control. Same thing here. He wants his hands inside to start defending. So I gotta work my way inside his arms to start popping stuff. Okay? One more time? One more time. Sorry, John. It's all right. <laughs> all right. See, he's already doing, this is why we want the hand in front. Because now I can't attack it on the outside. All right. I'm gonna start working through my other arm bars. Plant it down. Oh, now his arm's off on the opposite side of my head. Okay, I lost the Americana, but I got that locked up. I don't. I post this hand to you, get pressure. I don't know how required it is. All right, but when I feel like if I just start moving, he can move with me. So I use. I post that hand instead of posting on his face to kick over his head. Lock out those legs. You don't have to figure for it. I just do because it sucks for him. <laughs> All right. Now my arm is already right at his elbow. Palm to palm, everything tight. Squeezing my elbows to my ribs, squeezing my head to my shoulder, and I slowly rotate around his arm. Okay? The upside to doing it at the beginning is we can hit the next arm bar. All right, so I get my side control. He's leaving this arm here. Now when I step over his head, okay, I got that arm. I start driving, I step over. I've got one arm bar here, I've got two that. arm bars here. <laughs> okay, so I've got this elbow with this hand stuck in my armpit. All right, bigger guy, it's not gonna work nearly as well on bigger guys unless you can trick them into it. All right, but I've got both, I can get a double arm bar. Yes, you can. Just by locking everything together here. Okay, so again, I'm in my scarf position. Driving in. Knee over his head, one, two. Okay. So try it from both places. I was hit, trying to hit the Kimura. I'm already on top of his arm here. I haven't been able to get in, but I got his wrist on, his, on my neck. Find his elbow. Head to the ground. Step over the head. Squeeze everything together. Figure four if you want. Up to you. Elbow to my body. Palm to palm. No thumbs. Again, gable grip. 
and rotate around his elbow. Ian, start finishing it. Just out of curiosity, if my head's flat versus, I don't know, that has any bearing. Anytime your shoulders can come up, all right, mm -hmm. you're gonna have space. Right. All right. Now I don't have to be under. I can be here. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> but uh, the, the the point is isolating your head yeah. from movement. Right. Doesn't matter if I have something under it or on top of it. Your head can't move. As soon as your head can come up, then you can start rotating with right. Does that make sense? So I don't care what you can post on his face. I don't. I mean, if the, if you got to do it here, that's fine. All right. It's just you don't have the second hand to help. But I got to keep his head isolated. All right. Questions? Can you do that second one one more time with the, with the two arm bars? Yeah. Pass his guard. <laughs> Sorry. I get a good scarf. Again, my a good scarf position here for control. My knee is under his shoulder. I don't need to be rolling him up away from me. This is just going to get me off balance. All right? My hips are next to his. My old shoulder, uh, knee is under his shoulder. I'm controlling his bi bicep tricep area here. Okay? Everything's nice and tight. Here. All my weight's on his ribs. Again, on my toes. I'm just being nice for the drill. All right, he can go arm in front. All right, if his arm goes in front, now I gotta go through all that other stuff to get his arm to the other side. Or I can start prying here. <laughs> but there are options. It's not nearly, not always gonna be a set path to get there, okay? But if his hand is around my head here, all right, and I'm already ready to attack it, I'm gonna lift that elbow, step up. All right, I gotta be careful not to get rolled. All right, so my, I still gotta keep that weight on that hip. Got his arm trapped. Swim in front. Again, posting my hand to the, on the ground, not on his face. I'm not trying to push him away. I'm putting a, a post there so he can't fight through it. Step over the head. Slide out to the elbow. Tap. That's your double. All right. The second arm is secondary. Tap. I don't need it. This is the one that's going to be the higher percentage. This one's just kind of gravy. Bonus. Bonus arm. Cool. Try both versions, go all the way through, hit it from the Americana and stuff, and then hit it from the beginning with somebody just